Morning, welcome back. Despite what my hat says, we're not going to be talking about tractors. We're going to be replacing my 12 volt wind turbine. Today's the first day where we haven't had any rain. The best part of four weeks. She's a cold one. The boys here are lighting a fire to keep us warm. This is what we're going to be installing. Purchased off Amazon. And it's to replace my old one up there, which has been up a couple of years now. It's had some hammer and it's not working. So let's see what we've got in the box. With this kit, you get the controller. That's the hub. The blades bolt onto here and that attaches to the turbine. You get an anemometer. Well done Trevor for saying that right. You get the tools to assemble it. Loads of information on it as well. These are the blades. They're just made out of plastic. They actually feel quite good quality these ones. I did replace the ones on the current one and they weren't as good as these. So three of them. And you'll see their leeward side. So that wants to be behind the face what's in at the wind. We get our plastic nose cone. And this is actually the generator itself. It's basically a three phase motor. We've got this hub nut on here where that assembly goes on with the blades. I've got existing wiring from my old turbine, but it's just three core wire. Comes down to the controller. And when you look at the controller, it's fairly simple. You've got the three green wires which are there, they go to the turbine. The red wire goes to the 12 volt positive feed of the battery. If you follow that round to here, you've got the black wire, which is the negative of the battery. The yellow will go direct to a lighting source. We don't need to do that. And I have a system set up for my solar panels separate, so we won't be using this controller for that. So we won't need the yellow, we won't need the blue. It's just the positive and the negative of the battery and the three turbine green wires when we wire it in. So let's crack on and build it up. We've lowered the old unit down. We're going to remove that so we can start the installation of the new one. So all it is, we've got a scaffold tube here, it just clamps on and the cable comes out of the turbine, joins into the three core wires, goes down to the controller and the battery. That's the old bolt slackened off, we're just going to slide the unit away from the pole now, then we can disconnect the wiring. So we'll remove the old unit now. And the issue we might have is the cable might be tight, so we'll have a look at that. So here we've got just a chocolate block with the three wires from the turbine 
going into the three car cable it doesn't matter which way around these go so don't be worried about getting that wrong we'll get a screwdriver and remove that There we go, old one removed. You'll notice in the kit, you also get a brand new rubber sleeve, which is for clamping onto here. So we've got all the kit laid out here. You can see the turbine, the hub cover, the hub, where you connect the blades to. You get your three blades there, your controller. You get the tools for doing a job. You get the rubber for when you're mounting it, the anemometer and the instructions. So I've got the hub here, and you'll see on the back, it's actually notched out to take the nuts as well, so you don't have to hold a spanner on the back. So all we're going to do is take the blade, leeward side, it's a side not facing into the wind, so it goes onto the hub like that. Take one of the bolts, and that's started in that nut now on the back. What you don't want to do is nip the nuts all the way up, until you've got the other bolt in. So that's just on loosely. Take the second nut, place it in the back, and the bolt in there. I'm going to do that for all three blades, then we're going to tighten them, tighten them down with the tools provided in the kit. That's now the hub unit and all three blades attached. You actually get a spare bolt in the kit, and you can see they come with nylon nuts. That's to stop them coming undone. Now, with this turbine, I want to have it maintain it in the future and take it down. So I'm going to put some anti-seize grease on all the bolts before I put it together. It just saves a lot of heartache and pain in the future. So it's got the grease on. And that will all get built up that grease will work into them threads and when we need to come to take it down or do any repairs and maintenance it'll come undone we've got the new turbine now that's is going to hold that for me i'll do the connections we've got that on loose with all the bolts greased up so we'll get her wired up clamped up then we'll fit the hub with the blades on so remember, it doesn't matter which way around these go in here. So that's the connection done. And all this is staying inside the tube, and because this is going over the top, it keeps it all out of the weather as well. So it's, it's done a really good job in the past. There's not even any signs of rust with that, so we're happy with that. So I'm going to slide that on there now, and we'll get it clamped up. That's the cables pulled through. We're just going to tighten these bolts up here, and she's good. With these being Allen keys, what you don't want to do is use an impact gun because you risk damaging them. So it's always just do them by hand. That's the unit clamped on. We can bring it round. And we can attach the hub unit with the blades on now. Same again, a nylock nut goes on there as well. So we're going to add the hub with the blades on and in the kit you get the allen key which goes in the centre of here and you hold the blades once you put the nut on and you turn the centre so the nut stays still and you're turning the mortar on the inside to tighten it up. So 
we've got the hub unit on there and you'll see this is notched out for the shape of the nut so we can't actually turn the nut what we're going to do is turn the inside of the motor and now that's started it just winds in and normally you would turn the nut that way but because the nut's staying still we're, we're turning the motor side of it it looks like we're putting it on backwards So I'm just holding the blade, turning the centre, and I can see it's just coming into the nylon now, which is going to stop it coming undone. So that's it, you can see now the thread has come all the way through and it's sat in the nylock. Now it's time to make it look pretty, we're going to add our nose cone, minus the frost. That's it on there and we're ready now to put that up into the air. So we've just been looking at the pole, it looks to be level, there is a slight bend in the pole but we've accounted for that. And the reason we want it plumb or level, whatever you want to call it, is so it's sat where it's right, so the wind's going to blow it round. You don't want it where one side's facing downhill and it never slews the right way. So that's the turbine now installed. We just need to put the controller on the other side of the cable. I'm at the point now where I'm ready to wire the controller and I've noticed with the cable in, They've sort of pre-chopped or scored the insulation, so you can just waggle it side to side and then it exposes the cable for you, so you can do your connections. How cool is that? Saving you a little bit of time. So there we go, we've got our positive, our negative for the battery our three turbine wires not needing the blue or the yellow. Now I've no lights on here because I've had no turbine to charge my batteries but hopefully we can see that's a controller mounted on the wall. So that's them all wired in now we've just got the neutral on the controller. Positive, negative from the battery, three cables from the turbine going into controller. Once we get a bit of wind, we can have a look, see if she works. Whoa, listen to the roar. I've just come on from work to see if the turbine's spinning. We've had solar power all day. It's been a nice sunny day. You can see by the blue sky and the turbines. Yeah, it's going well. We've got a northeasterly wind, which is normally cold and it is cold at the moment, believe me. But yeah, it's, uh, it's doing the job. We've got a good bit of wind. Now listen to the turbine. Very quiet, it's doing a good job.